hi guys it's me jimmy a geek so if you are thinking to go to college just to get an it degree that is good but if you want to become a web developer web designer software engineer and you are thinking to go to school spend i mean hundreds of thousand dollars on a stupid degree which will at the end of the day which will really do not give you anything degree like bachelor of computing like bachelor of software engineering bachelor of applied computing bachelor of business information technology if you just want to become into it even i say do not go and get a bachelor of it degree because it's freaking expensive you will spend your four year you will get a degree the same material you can just learn within six to one year and then you can save ton of money so today i'm gonna just focus on uh, how to become a web developer and why you shouldn't go and get a web developer or web design or graphic design or fine or whatever crap they have put out there and save your money it depends whether if your united states the degree can cost you from one hundred thousand dollar to five hundred thousand dollar even can cost you up to a million so it depends on your location so if you're thinking to go to college whether you're going for the bachelor for four year or with associate for two year or just for a higher diploma for two year or whether you're in uk you're thinking to get a higher national diploma like in computing and system development from edxl or whatever the crap it is do not do it do not just do that kind of stupid degree save your money and then just listen to me basically college just scam we really we need to redesign our education system our education system is the world biggest scam ever basically i would say it's just made for money it's always make the dean of the university of the dean of the college or the professor of the college or whatever the hell they call principal they buy their yard, they buy their boat, they buy their freaking house on the mountain, on the valley, wherever they want. Because we, to be honest with you, we give the money for a freaking stupid degree, which at the end of the day, one of my friends just graduated from a four year degree bachelor in computing. So he, I was just talking to him, what the hell you are doing, man? Why are you looking for a blue collar job? Why are you trying to get into construction worker? He said, Jimmy, listen. I have spent my money for four years, but still I couldn't get a job. I said, why? I said, didn't you apply the job? He said, he applied tons of the Whenever he go to the interview, they just reject him or they said, I will call you later. It means they will never call him back. So I said, I mean, well, what did they say? Uh, the interviewer who was interviewing, my friend told me, they just say me, he do not have enough skill. And then I just told him, I mean, what kind of skill they're talking about? I mean, uh, my friend told me, the interview said to him, you, you cannot design website well, you know basic Java, but you cannot design Android app, you know a little bit IT, but you cannot even try to support manage the computer hardware, the computer server, I mean, you know e-commerce, but you cannot even give a solution of e-commerce. So basically, it means my friend got a bachelor in computing, but it was not specialized in anything. He do not have any skill at the end of the day to become a web developer, to come in IT, you need your passion. You do not need to just follow, do your degree when you come home you need to stick you need to do i mean you just need to build your portfolio whether you're repairing computer whether you're supporting computer system whether you're building the nas whatever crap you're building in the hardware side in the software side whether you're building the computer app, mobile hybrid app or what kind of next some kind of uh, search engine whether you're building yes you can build a search engine micro search engine in any programming language just to show the employer that you can build stuff so the point is here is that a lot of people think they will go to a four year college when they come up with the computing degree, bachelor degree, IT degree, whatever the degree they want to come up with, they will just get that job except computer science. Computer science is a different story. Computer science is the most hard degree ever. Even the computer science is harder than the becoming a doctor. To be honest with you, I'm really not kidding. Computer science is really hard. If you go in a major computer science, whether when you came home, you study computer science, you build something or not the people still hire you because computer science is a degree which is very hard to pass if you just pass basically you know how to build a software at the end of life still computer science cannot build a website i have told you computer science the, the person who get a bachelor in computer science major they can learn how to build a website within few weeks it will be a really easy it will just a piece of a cake for them 
but still they do not computer science mean they build software they build kernel they build some kind of new uh, i install my webcam what will be the driver for that they build computer driver they build linux system they build that kind of crap they do not build website they do not design e-commerce solution they most of the major have only few, like a small uh, like a scripting language like a ruby php or python they really do not focus on it but still you can get a job but if you want to become a web developer if you want to become a web designer if you are if you are, if you are a mom basically i mean you cannot fulfill the need of your children due to the financial need if you are a guy who are stuck in a stupid job in a blue collar job whether you're a construction worker whether you're a security guard whether you're a driver f everyone you really do not need any degree even your degree plus good to be honest with you you really do not need any degree what the hell you need is motivation and about motivation discipline i do not care if you have motivation or not hell with motivation my motivation is a thing today i am motivation i'm gonna build this one tomorrow i will have no motivation i will lose the steam i will go in that deep mode so hell with all the motivation you need discipline so basically i can say i yourself thought myself i'm a web developer i'm a web engineer i'm a php developer i'm a mobile hybrid developer you could give me a lot of names if you want even i'm a ui ux designer I just bought this pocket guide. I just basically this is a pocket guide when you become some kind of web developer. Still, you do not really need to know everything. One thing I have to clear in this video: when you become something, people think a web developer or a web engineer. They really know all kind of um CSS, sin sin stack variable or what everything they know. They think they know all kind of JavaScript function. They think they know PHP. PHP have over seven hundred function. Really, I do not know anything really. Only I know basic stuff up to a little bit advanced stuff. Most of the time, I know the concept. I know the fundamental. I know the theory. When I'm writing uh, some kind of, I'm building some kind of stupid uh, like a jumping frog game, I will just refer to my JavaScript pocket guide and then just, I mean, try to see it. I mean, for example, what is a function five times mean? You can see. I will just try to. type it that's all or i will just google it the employer really do not care the employer do not want to copy and paste the employer want you should look up the code on internet or from a reference book there no problem but you have a concept clear becoming a web designer it will just take you to the to become a web designer you do not need to learn php at all you need to know html html css and javascript Do not argue with me. A web designer must know JavaScript. If you do not know JavaScript, if you are a web designer, if you are working in a company, they will fire you within few months or few year. JavaScript is a must for web designer. Basically, HTML is a layout. Basically, you can say a website is a document. It structures a document. How the things will appear on left, right, up. CSS is a design. How it will appear like in color. and javascript basically is the animation how things will move how slider will move how and pop up will open this is basically for a web web designer if you want to become a web developer you need some kind of additional language like a database of course you need to know my sql and then you really need to know php basically i say uh, let me show you i am a self code developer i have basically whenever you learn something you just re really need to make notes you can see i am Made a lot of notes. This is my PHP notes. Whenever I I'm stuck something, basically this uh, this is configuring PHP server. There are so many steps. I really sometimes forgot that step. I have no problem. I just open my notes and then I say step one, go to command line. Step two, type c wham bin mysql plus enter. People, the if I uh, told someone who was a newbie, he will say, "No, I'm not a true geek. I'm not a web developer. I'm just I even mean, I don't know what the hell I'm doing." The most famous web developer or the software engineer, they really do not remember the small micro things in their mind. They just know how to basically the web developer job is put small things together. Learning PHP is not hard. Learning CSS is no hard. Learning JavaScript is no hard. Learning basic mockup design is no hard. The harder thing is putting together like a Lego bricks. Like I'm mean, putting together like a WordPress. For years I'm using WordPress. Learning WordPress is no hard. Even learning how to customize WordPress is no no hard. Problem is that you need to know WordPress, you need to know PHP, you need to know CSS, HTML, and basic JavaScript, and then try to put together and try to build a web app based on 
based on the the knowledge you know same i will i will go with for information technology learning cloud computing is really really not hard basically i am basically i always made notes whenever i learned something it's not hard basically when i work on a new app i can just i mean look into the cloud computing should i use the software as a service or a network as a service oh yeah that's the problem is that with the new beat they become scared they think they really need to memorize all thing no to be honest with you i know a lot of stuff to be honest, sometimes even i do not need to have to look at this book because i have done over and over again the practice make perfect if you do over seven times the same thing you really memorize in your brain but the point is saying i do not care whether you carry this book to your job whether you google it whether you make this kind of flat test not just try to get a job done employer really do not employ one unique content they want unique code they just want to get the job done so my personal opinion is that number one buy this kind of poker guide number two go to court academy number three join coursera and uh, coursera free course about on uh, introduction to html at this point of history basically is 2014 now it's gonna be 2015 within few days we have so much resources if we have this kind of same amount of resources 10 years before i mean our elders will be to be honest with you they will shoot at us if they really knew what kind of resources we have education so free even you do not to buy this one go to court academy just go to course yeah go to you you i forgot they were you city i don't know whatever i call just google or go to edx.com you can you can have a certificate from harvard university in computer science for basically how much 90 us dollar the information free you can learn all kind of harvard the, the world best university harvard university computer science subject for free if you want to become a certified from the hardware university in computer science it will cost you 90 bucks 90 bucks I really do not care whatever the hell you do just do it become a web designer become a web developer self thought to yourself you really need discipline you really need to do same thing over again and again first day you will feel excited second day you will start losing steam third day you say no let's watch movie let's play xbox or ps4 no discipline discipline mean i need to grind it my, my my headache is feeling my head is really feeling very headache i'm feeling pain in my headache but still i have to do it i'm not feeling well but still i have to do it i have to another work to do but still i have to do it uh, my best uh, baseball sports is coming match is coming on the tv but still i have to do my work i have to code so that's what share my video subscribe to my channel like me if you like me hate me if you hate me you cannot ignore me bye bye